Yo guys, it's Slyro, you already know that today we are back playing some more Pokemon Violet. We uh, had a pretty rough encounter uh, with Iron Treads, the ground titan, and we are chasing after it uh, to fight it again, and hopefully we have a better uh, time this time. I, I'm going in more prepared, I'm pretty sure that this is a steel ground type, uh, so I'm using that knowledge to my advantage. Hopefully Arvin can help us out, because we barely survived the first... Uh, encounter and now it's powering up with its Herba Mystica. So, yeah, Arvin, give me a hand. Uh, so it looks like you find yourself a Titan. I did. Wait, that's a Quaking Earth Titan? Uh, is that thing even a Pokemon? You tell me. Its name is Iron Treads. It must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Yo, what if we ate a little snack, got pumped up too? Time to show that thing what you and me can do, Slime. Let's do it. Please, please send so much help. I am going to need it. All right, here it is. Wow, it looks even more menacing up close. Iron Treads, the Quaking Earth Titan. We can still terrestrialize. So a terrestrialized flamethrower is definitely what we do. Sco, Sco villain at level 44? What is that? Is that what the Capsicum turns into? That's so weird. It's like a two-headed plant monster. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna use a Scoville that I caught nearby to say so he's a real spicy victory. This is gonna burn. Why do you have a level 44 Pokemon? The gym leader that we're going to has like level 30 Pokemon at most, I think. That is insane. This thing better not be like expecting me to be like a level 40 Pokemon uh, to, to be able to win. We'll see, we'll see. Stomping Tantrum. Oh no, that's gonna one shot everything. Okay, it did not. Oh, nice scary face, nice scary face. Almost would have made more sense for me to flame charge, but I just want to get as much damage as possible off. Okay, decent chunk, decent chunk. Come on. All right, Skull Villain. Yes, 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 yes. Honestly, I wonder. I feel like with Arvin here, we almost can't lose. As long as I think the the first one v one is sort of the level check to see if you're strong enough to at least hold your own. And then the second battle is just like Arvin kind of comes in and helps and like there's almost no way uh, for you to lose. I'm just going to keep flamethrowing. Yeah, Scoville's probably just going to get the final hit anyway. Dude, we really didn't have to do anything other than live one hit. But I like that. I like that actually a lot. We had our we had our challenge. Barely survived. I literally had to use five revives just to get back here. Uh, goodbye. All right, we beat Iron Treads. We get a bunch of experience for it. Oh yeah, we do. Two thousand eight hundred seventy. Oh my gosh. Insanity. That was really, really good. Crocodile is probably not going to see action for a little while since we are going to be going up against a water type gym leader. So that's all right. Yes, nice going, little buddy. Uh, what even was that thing though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. I mean, it looks kind of like a Don fan, but it's not. It is its own thing. Uh, anyway, but if we head inside here, we'll find more of that herbal biscuit was eating. Uh, let's give the place a once over before that thing decides to come back. Let's do it. Yeah, we have so much time. That actually did not take long at all. So now we should be able to go to the gym leader. Uh, come out, come out, wherever you are. Why is there always a Pokeball like in, in here? Is there like a purpose to that? That means that these titans actually belong to somebody, but I've heard that you can come back and, and, and catch them. I don't know. Uh, yes, found it. Here's a little herb. This one's giving off like a yellow glow. You know, I found the sour herb Isn't this our fourth titan? Isn't there only like one more? Or is there... Yeah, how many titans are there? I feel like we're actually pretty close. Uh, the shape, the sheen, uh, it looks like it, it'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. Now, let's see. What does this book have to say? Okay, sour herb is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. It perks you right up. All right, no time to waste. Let's get some food going. I wonder what new ability we're gonna get for for armor ride on. Honestly, it could just be something like you can swim faster in the water or something. I don't know, cause like we got jump higher last time. I, I don't really know what else uh, there is. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, this token of friendship. Here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. I will. Arvin has definitely turned out to be a pretty cool dude. Even after the first encounter, that made me think that he was gonna suck. Uh, he's been fantastic. All right, it's sandwich time. 
You already know the deal. Like, you gonna eat that sandwich? I don't think so. I feel like Arvin shouldn't even bother trying at this point. Yeah, Arvin's not even like saying anything at this point. He's like, whatever, I know this is gonna happen. Uh, come on out, Mimbasta, Mimb Mimb food's up. Yeah, that Pokeball just in like the middle of the cave in the cutscenes is like super distracting to me and I don't know why. Eat up. Yeah, munch, munch, munch. Very cool. Oh, would you look at that? It seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. I wonder if at some point Baradon's just gonna like uh, not actually take the sandwich and be like, you know what? I had enough sandwiches. You can eat and he'll let me eat eventually. Probably not. I wonder if Baradon's ever gonna be, be able to glide now. Okay, that I was not expecting. And that feels also slowly regaining its original strength. So it doesn't look as anywhere close to returning to his battle form. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder if there's a, a chance that we'll be able to unlock using it in battle at some point, either by like finishing off one of the quests or who knows what. Maybe that is what we get for finishing off the Titan things. I don't know. Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe he's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. Uh, what do you mean? I read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you call it. Maybe you had terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared of battle at all? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure uh, both that brute and Mabostiff will make a full recovery eventually. How do you feel, Mabostiff? How's that Urban Mystic working? Uh, no pressure. I think it's fair to expect every kind of Urban Mystic to have some huge effect, right? It's not like the effect has to be immediate either. Hey, it's okay, don't worry. So I and I are going to make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. It's just gotta be. Alright, so I have the next stop on a little herb hunt. Should be the last. If we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up our momentum. Here we go! Alright. That's probably not going to be for a little while, because we only have three gym badges? Uh, and we've beat two Team Star leaders. So, yeah, we, we've got some catching up to do in other areas. Alright, tell me about how to glide. Hello, Sly, this is Turo. What up? I detect that Maridon has regained more of original, pow original power. What told you that? After it jumped into the air, you should try pressing the B button uh, again. It should glide now. Okay. Very cool. We'll try it out. Let's continue helping Maridon recover. Will do. Uh, so now let's go ahead and put the... Where's it at? Yeah, let's put... Let's take that. Oh, no, we can just uh, set this as our destination. And yeah, we'll go this direction. Yeah, we can glide now. That's that's cool. Uh, it looks like there is a, this is either a terror raid or, well, now every time I see a Don fan, I'm going like, wait, is it a Don fan or is it an Iron Fan? That's it, that's a Don fan. All right, there is a terror raid over here. Let's just see if it's like a rare Pokemon or something. Uh, it's a love disc. An ice love disc. I mean, this is literally... It, because it's a two-star, I want the rewards. This is literally going to take, like, 30 seconds at most. Maybe maybe the intro uh, thing is going to make it take, take longer. But once we get into the battle, it's gonna, literally going to be over in, like, a turn. That is, if it ever loads. There we go. And then we're going right to the gym leader. Let's go. Easy. Actually, why did why did you all bring things that are like weak to water and ice? You silly gooses. Wait, so did I. Alright, whatever. But I also brought flamethrower, which is probably way more valuable than anything these other fools brought. Goodbye. Alright, do the other the other people want to attack? And we'll, even, we'll even hit it with a flame charge. And a rock throw. This thing is dead. It is beyond dead. Oh gosh. It's at zero health and Flail stood in four damage. If that tells you anything. I mean, I haven't seen a Love Disc anywhere. I'm literally never going to use it, but sure, we'll catch it. Because there's no downside to catching it. Other than I am now the owner of a love disc, which, you know, maybe I should be embarrassed about that, but it is what it is. 
Why is the Love Disc just out here in the middle of the desert anyway? That's probably the questions that we should be asking. Whatever, it's fine now. Uh, some good experience candy. Even got a couple experience candy mediums. Very good. A part of me almost wants to, to sideline Crocolore for now, just to, like, have a different member uh, in the team. I don't know if I will or not, though. Uh, during the spawning season, countless love discs congregate at coral reefs, turning the waters pink. We're going to send that to the boxes. All right, no more distractions. Even if there's more terror raids, no distractions. We're going to the gym. Well, we're going to the gym leader. Let's see if there's trainers. Trainers are the only other things that I'll stop for. And pick up this. He's right. Right. I also said that I wanted to uh, put something else. In the in the lead, actually, let's. The watch has been pretty good. Also, looks like uh, this guy's gonna have fighting types. Yeah, let's get sort of a level check. Kofu, Kofu, the cast rapid gym leader, is quite strong. I think that's who we're going to go fight. All right, you're black belt. You're sounding out. Halucha, yep. I have plenty of options. I'm going to choose to spark. Yeah, you're level 21. Honestly, I actually want to make some substitutions in my in my team, I think. Because we are really overleveled right now. Not really overleveled, because the last trainer in the desert was like level 25 stuff. Guess you know how strong I am. Let's uh yeah, let's actually let's take out uh Crocolord just for now. That way, uh, he doesn't get too overleveled. Put him here in the fire. Uh, I don't really need to use a fire type in its place. We can take out, you know, we'll take out Knackle Stack as well, just for now. Uh, which way do I have Rock? Rock is right here. Uh, well, because we're going to a water, a water type, I don't really need to replace it with another Rock type, even though Cloth is still there. Don't need another electric type. I think I'll keep the other ones because I do want Primate to get stronger and Toad School and Kilowattro are like actually, you know, good for the gym. Um, We could steal poison. We'll put Varum on because we can. Uh, actually, speaking of poison, we never really did anything with. Oh, there's also there's also Tinker Tink, though. Oh, man. But we never did anything with Shrewdle. That's fine. We can have two poison types. Not really that big of a deal. All right, that'll be our, our substitutions for now. And we are actually just going to go ahead and use some of the experience candy to catch them up a little bit. Let's use like three of them on you. Level 22. Slash. Sure. Uh, slash, it's probably better. You know what? I've seen this ask for advice over on the side. What does it actually say? It wants to forget, bite, learn, slash? That's... Oh, that's annoying. That's actually what I was going to do. Wow, all right. I get. I think the game might actually give good advice sometimes. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to use... You know, I'm going to use three on this thing. Level 22 going to use... You know, I'm going to use one more on this thing, and then use a medium on Trudel. Just one. Level 24! Alright, and we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll leave it there for now, and they can they can catch up uh, doing battles past this. I don't want to use all my experience candy, because they're probably not even going to stay on the team for that long, honestly. Alright, so we need to find a way to get down there. Oh, we got a skidoo right there. I mean, I guess I could glide down. Oh, no, there's also the path is, like, right here. That being said, I'm still going to glide. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, gliding is fun. We could be gliding over a bunch of trainers, though, so... Let's go ahead and come down. Yeah, there's literally a trainer right there. That's just a sign. But yeah, there's a trainer right here. Oh! Oh, you're right here, the gym leader. You're not even, like, in the town. 
Walton Valuza, where? Where in the world? You're... I was gonna say your eyebrows, but I don't even know which ones are your eyebrows. Your entire facial hair thing is interesting. The little flower's getting battered by the sea breeze, something fierce, but you don't care. What's wrong? Pretty little flowers. Where? Where in the world uh, can I go find more like you? Yeah, like, that is an insane f facial f f whatever. Tee hee. Oh, shoot, I need to get down to the market. No, wait, stop. You're not going to call and yell and be like, hey, wait, stop. All right, I guess that's just the game's way of confirming that we're going the right direction. That being said, let's beat up some children. Ooh, giraffe -a rig Hey, what does a uh, casserole mean? That's all I can think about re recently. Does a giraffe rig now have an evolution? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna catch the giraffe rig. Whether I use it or not, that's a different story. Cause there's so many other things to use as well, but. Still. All right, so everything here is still like level 23. So we are slightly, slightly above level. That's all right. I don't think I've gotten any other water types that I would really want to use in, in Floatzel's place recently. I think literally all we have is the Psyduck, the Love Disc, don't think I've caught any other water types that I can remember. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, level 25 Shrudle. U-turn. Sure. Uh, let's... You know, we don't really do good special attack. I don't think we need Acid Spray at this point. If we're doing everything physical, yeah. We don't need Acid Spray. Acid Spray is a pretty good move, but... It's alright. Masquerade. We can... We can go ahead and... Electrify it with Kilowattrel. There we go. Also, I never actually taught Volt Switch to Kilowattrel, what I was definitely considering doing at some point. Are right, you gonna intimidate me? Well, that just made my decision. We're gonna Electro Ball you then instead. Oh, that did one-shot. I wasn't expecting that, because I think Basquiat is pretty fast. I think Kilowattle is just, like, really good. It might, honestly, like, the more that it just comes out in one-shots Pokemon, the more that I just want to keep it on the team forever. It might be a long-term memory uh, member. I don't know, maybe it's a Royal Casserole? Sure, could be. I want this item. There's a Meowth there. I want this Pokemon. Hello, Giraffe Rig. Would you like to be my friend? We're just gonna pluck you again. Level 26 wild Pokemon. So, maybe we're not as over leveled as I was making it seem. Uh, we'll throw out a Great Ball. Oh, there's a bunch of like items everywhere. I'm gonna get so distracted trying to chase all these items. And we got a Giraffe Rig. Let's go. Decent experience. Level 30 kilowatt right now. Dual wing beat. How strong is that? Use the slams to target with wings to inflict damage. The target hits twice in a row. So is that like a power 40? It actually means like power 80? Because that would make me want to do that in place of pluck. Um, I could also just get rid of quick attack because I'm not really using it. I'm going to do that. And if dual wing beat ends up not being all that strong that I can get rid of it in the future. Um, otherwise, I'll keep it and get rid of Pluck. And that works out for me. Drafric's tail has a small head. It instinctively bites at any foe that approaches Pokemon from behind. We're going to go ahead and send that to the boxes. Boom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Drafric evolved now. I hope that's an evolution, not just like an alternate, like, form. But I feel like there's no other reason that Drafric would be in the game. Uh, Figgy Berry. Okay. There's some sparkles here. Okay, so the, the items are, like, way further away. They're not nearly as close as, uh, the, that one angle made it seem. So I am actually just going to stay on track and come down this way, except for getting items that are, like, right over here. I want to make sure that I don't accidentally start battles with wild Pokemon if I can help it. Okay, I think I saw a trainer, like, right over here. There we go. Oh, you need help? Yeah, yeah, what can I help you with? 
Find a way to get help by making deliveries in my stead. Uh, sure. Yeah, no, I'll agree to that. Because you're not going to win. Joaquin the Courier. A rufflet. Oh, buddy, do I have some bad news for you. Uh, this Taurus is trying to, like, ambush me. I have some bad news for you. I forgot to heal. Not like it's going to matter. Yeah, I'm sure Killwatchel is not going to be, like, an insane, like, competitive Pokemon. But in-game, I gotta say, it's, it's, uh pretty great i knew that wouldn't work but yeah if you can't beat people it's not gonna work ah get out of here what am i supposed to do i was ambushed by these toros level 29 i'm not i'm not i'm not dealing with that right now oh gosh we fine right here i'm sure we haven't taken on enough trainers we took on like two right yeah. Four trainers. Hey, I'm on the side. Yes, please show my Pokemon. Thank you. We should probably use Varum in a, in a fight at some point. All right. Everything is good. Looks like there's an item literally right over here. So I'll go ahead and get that. And then into the town we go. Yeah, glide down. Oh gosh, we're in Porto uh, Marinata. Okay, let's just walk over. I was like, I saw those people there. I was just like, well, maybe there's a... They do something. I'm just sort of walking this just so I don't pass all the people. If people have like yellow text, that usually means that there is something uh, to them. I assume we're not fighting a gym battle here? I don't know. Is there anything else in this uh, little little town? Doesn't really seem like it. All right, let's go ahead and just get the gym leader. Oh, there's some shops and stuff here. Wait a minute. Oh, bidding experience to enter our auctions? Oh. Okay. Well, we reached our destination. Bon Valusa, where, where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? In my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. Uh, it'll get bought up by someone else. Uh, don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. Uh, don't worry. I'm pretty sure I have it. Uh, what do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buying. If you think about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best of presence, will have to stop you. So do you have something super important to say to us busy folks or what? Uh, yeah, this is super important. Super important, eh? We'll see about that. Maybe battle will shut your mouth. <laughs> I mean... I can't just pull out the wallet and be like, uh, this is what you're looking for? <laughs> Alright, Hugo, you're you're going down because you don't know how to listen. What Floatzel. Very cool. You know what's even cooler? Kilowatt roll. You know what's also really cool? Destroying you. Oh no, you attack first. What will I ever do? Dude, I one-shot everything. It's insane. It's insane. This is Electro Ball. I'm not even, like, Thunderbolting these fools or anything. Ooh, Toad School level 32. Varun 24. Clauncher? No, we'll stay in. We're just gonna keep seeing. No, there's no way Clauncher lives in Electro Ball. No shot. No shot. I refuse to believe it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, you want to step to me again, or what? You want to shut your mouth and let me give your, the, your, your master his wallet. Uh, shucks, I let old man Kofu down. It happens. Dang it, that backfired. Now my wallet's empty too. Hey, uh, step right up and tell me what's all the ruckus about over here. I'm trying to give you your wallet back, but your your apprentice is not listening to me. Oh, old man Kofu, seems this kid's got something to say to you. Oh, what's it now, customer here for a little wallet-less, moneyless me? What can I do for you? I have your wallet. <laughs> my phone's losing my wallet. Say what now? My lobby staffers that you out here are bringing to me? Got a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice too. Hope he didn't bother you too much. Nah, he was a pushover. There's something here at the Porto Marinata auction that I that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we were both a bit worked up to find I forgot my wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't miss this. Here comes today's last item. Ooh, what is it? Peace your eyes on the main event. 
Uh, I have here some legendary Wakami Seawood of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Phone, what is it? I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. And just look at it. Look how it catches the light and shines so brilliantly. Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma is something plucked straight out of the ocean. I need to get me some of that. Now, listen, kid, if you want to challenge me at the Cast Graphic Gym, you're going to need some smart smarts. This is the perfect place to test it. Get the winning bid on that seaweed for this old man. Uh, what's a winning bid? Well, you see, here at the auction, you got to compete with other customers for goods. Got to be aware of how much money you have, of course. Uh, but the person who bids the highest price gets to buy whatever's on sale. Uh, here you are, fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it, and win this old man that seaweed. Okay. I mean, seems simple enough. You gave me 50000 I don't see how we could fail this. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is the gym test. Is there, is there anything more to this, or just like... Those legendary Wacky Seaweed will spend the bin at 10000 Yeah. 10000 15,000, 25. Uh, we'll go. We'll go 30. Ooh, 40. Let's go the whole way to 50,000. I was like, that's what we were given to spend. There we go, 50,000. That's literally all we had to do? How do you lose that? Alright. That was amazing. You put those good uh, bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. All right, there you go. This seaweed was a great catch. I'd be feeling low with the seaweed if I failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money that I gave you left, uh, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use to try your hand at the auction again if you like. All right, I'm gonna head on back to the cash craft for Jim now. Oh man, Kobe's gonna prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. All right. I guess maybe there's a way to finagle it so where you don't have to spend all 50,000. Uh, maybe that's the, the catch, I don't really know. But whatever, I passed. I didn't have to use any of my own money. Which I assume is, uh... It, like, on purpose. I don't think the, the game is going to make you spend extra money. Alright, so, like, can I get, like, actually good items? Or are there just going to be a bunch of, like, whatever? Welcome to Shark Hands. Can do how to do. Leave you smiling. I mean, what do you have? Okay, you just have, like, things. No. Oh, so these, like, they're just, like, uh... Nothing here is actually more bidding on options. King's Rock. I mean, that seems like something that we're gonna need. Uh, sure. Actually, I don't know. King's Rock is usually something that you have to put on a Pokemon and then, like, trade to, to get an evolution, right? But I think it has some sort of effect. Uh, sure. 3,500. I mean, I have I have money to, to spend. Uh, I'll go 6,000. Oh my gosh. Can we not? Alright, I'll go 8,000. Oh my gosh! No, wait a minute. I'll go eleven thousand. This is insane. This is insane. Thirteen thousand. What? Fifteen? Okay. All right, we got it. Oh my gosh, fifteen. Was that worth fifteen thousand? I don't know. I feel like I might have just gotten scammed. That's all right. We got a King's Rock out of it. I'm sure it may be useful eventually. And if not, then maybe we get other items there at some point. Timer balls. I mean, timer balls are good, but this is going to be a, a whole auction. 14 timer balls. Wait a minute, actually. All right, all right. So let, let, let's let's try and map this out. Timer balls, what, what, what would I say their value is? Actually, I really don't think that it should be much more than 6,000. I'm going to start at 6,500, though. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go, like, real high. 14. They're like. Uh, yeah, we'll go to 10,000. Are they all that necessary? I don't think I'll go above 12,000. Well, but if that just. Alright, I'll go 13. If you go higher than that. Mm, is that worth it? I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. We can use that money for other stuff. I don't know. I don't know if they ever restock on stuff or not. Um, like iron. Oh, like actual, like the the, the item iron. We don't need that. All right, all right. We're we're done with the auction for now. If we want to come back to the, and see if they change up the stuff at the auction, we can come back to the Porto Marinata uh, later. 
But for now, we're going to go ahead to the Cascarapa Gym. And it should be a pretty, pretty simple battle. So yeah, we'll keep it in this episode. I just looked now. It's just like, oh, how much time has gone by? No, nah, we have enough time. We have enough time. We'll fight the gym leader. Uh, I'll just make sure that I'm I'm healed up. I don't think I've gotten into battle since the last time that I healed. Oh, no, I did. I had that gym cleaner battle. I... Hmm. A part of me wants to teach Volt Switch, but... You know, actually, do I need Spark anymore? Do I need Spark? Because, like... Let me look at the summary. I was like, isn't my attack, like, really low? It's really low. It's really low. I'm... I'm, I'm teaching... I'm teaching Volt Switch. I'm gonna have vo both Volt Switch and Electro Ball. Uh... I was gonna say, where is that? Yes. We're just gonna get rid of Spark. My my attack is very low. It's never going to do more damage than Electro Ball or Volt Switch. And if I can't do damage, I can just Volt Switch out. Very nice. I, we've, we fought more, more trainers in the desert. Do we get a prize? Three. Ah, uh, we need five. All right. Yeah, I probably, I'm probably missing so many trainers, uh, but honestly, I don't really care. I know that, like, fighting trainers is, like, a good way to get more experience, but I think the way I'm doing it is perfectly fine. I'm not gonna scour every nook and cranny to find every little, every last trainer. And if I miss some, I miss some. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. I think level-wise, we're still doing okay. All right, now we gotta find the gym, which is, I guess, right ahead. Wait, what are you, what are you saying? Oh, Dan Whooper. I don't have one. A Venomous? I have a blue Whooper I caught. Want to trade a Paldean Whooper to get it? Oh. All right, I haven't found a Paldean Whooper. But I can catch two and then have a Paldean Whooper and a, uh, a, 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 a classic Whooper. Because I, I, I do love Whooper. I love Quagsire. I haven't even seen the, the Paldean Quagsire. At least I haven't really gotten a good look at it. But all right, we're going into the gym. We already passed our gym test. So set us up with a fight. And let's go. Oh, there's more people here. Oh, well now, Sly. You appear to be progressing well in your gym circuit. What's this now? Is this a kid I've been hearing so much about? Hello? Your hair is very interesting. Hey, Kudo, I heard you're, like, way too good at battling, yeah? Uh, yeah. I'm really good. Haha, <laughs> you got some spirit, big shot. Uh, this young lady would be Rika. Okay, hi, Rika. That's me, Rika here, at your service. Hey, I know I'm pretty, but, uh, no need to get intimidated or anything. She's a little... farcical? Uh, shall we say? Sure, that's a word. I feel like myself, she's a member of the Elite Four. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm... Uh, I'll tell you something, kiddo. You look fun. Like, innocent. At a glance, anyway. Uh, naturally, he's one of our Academy's esteemed students. Ooh, uh, yeah. That checks out. But the battles you face uh, at these gems really ratchet up the further you go. And the Dravid Trader abandons a challenge at roughly this very point. This was a pretty big level jump, honestly. Well, a, a little bit of a level jump. Not you, right, kiddo? Uh, see you when you hit the champion assessment. You know these gems. Uh, you show these gems what you got. Best fortunes to you. I think Nimona said that she was going to challenge me to a battle the next time that I went to a gym, but uh, I can't help but notice that she did not do that. Maybe she'll try and challenge me after. Who knows? I heard you reunited Kofu with his wallet. I did. Can't thank you enough. Uh, though this is a little irregular, please consider your gym test passed. Yeah, what's the normal gym test, I wonder? I ready to challenge gym leader Kofu the surging chef? Yeah. Very well, I'll meet you to the battle court. We are going to win so hard, it's going to be crazy. The thing is, I don't really have much of a battle, uh, a bunch of a game plan after this gym. I will figure it out. I'll have to look at the map. I'll probably go back to take some more classes at the academy, and then we'll go off in some direction. Uh, cause I don't really know what the next place to go would be. But probably another gym? Maybe a Team Star thing? We'll see. We'll see what's close location-wise. Alright, Kofu, let's go. Oh, man, Kofu, play this. Come on. I'll be honest with you, I'd uh, try a new item for my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry, buddy, I've got some business to take care of as a gym leader real quick, like. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see? Please forgive me, I need to do this first. Okay. 
Let's fight. I wonder what Pokemon you're gonna have. Hey, uh, step right up. I'm waiting for you. This is the Alboba in Porto Marinata. You did a mighty fun job. Now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in our battle here. I wouldn't dream of it. As long as you don't expect me to go easy. At the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics, ever-changing as the raging sea. I'm gonna serve you a full course of water-type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them, though. Okay. <laughs> I won't. Let's go. What are you gonna send out? I just really wanna know what, what, what your team's gonna look like. And also, how many Pokemon? The last couple gyms have had three, but we might be getting to the point where they might start soon having four. Veluza? What is that? I have not seen anything like that. It looks kind of like an Aracuda, Barracuda thing, but a little different. Uh, I feel a bit dead to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of that. The loses Mole Breaker. It is level 29. Do you also die in one hit to an Electro Ball? Ooh, not quite. Aqua Cutter. Ooh. All uh, right, you do have three. Let's, uh, let's Volt Switch out. Hooray. We'll let, uh... Actually, can we send somebody out before getting the experience to get extra experience or no? Oh, we can! Oh, no, we can't. Alright, doesn't matter. I will... I'm gonna send in Toad Scroll. As long as whatever he sends out doesn't have, like, ice moves, then this should be a, a fine matchup. Wug Trio? No. This is a water type? Oh my gosh. You know, this actually looks a little bit be better than, than Wiglet. Just because it actually has, like, the rock in the middle. Um, yeah, the, the, the rock in the middle and, like, the pink heads coming out, that actually looks a lot better than, than Wiglet, I think. Even if it is a stupid name, it is not that bad. I actually kind of like the design, honestly. All right, and then let's see what your ace is going to be. Yeah, I feel like I want to hate Wug Trio, but I, I, I can. I actually, I actually really like it. That's so dumb. I hate myself for not hating that Pokemon. Ooh, look at all that experience I'm getting. Crabominable. Okay, so it's an Ice Fighting that's going to turn into a Water type, probably. Ooh. I, I actually don't think Kilowattro is going to be a great thing for this. I actually kind of want to heal Kilowattro. Ooh, but ice. Mm -hmm. We're putting an interesting position here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go in prime ape right now. I want to at least heal Kilowattro and hopefully get off a hit. The problem is Crabominable is probably gonna have ice moves, which is not great for Kilowattro or Toad Cruel, which I did not really consider. All right, all right. So might be might be a bit of an interesting fight here all right so he's gonna get off like one really big hit on me i mean honestly i don't really want primate to die if primate can can live one hit i think i'll sack floatzel and use floatzel as a, as a clean switch into kilowattro all right got a water type crabominable Yeah, I want Primate to gain experience because I need to get to level 35. I think that's when it learns the move that it needs to move, use like 20 times and then it can evolve. All right. Oh, look at how cute it looks. With his little water hat. One old man Kubi special coming right up. Uh, hang on tight or get swept away by the Surging Chef. Crab Hammer. This is going to hurt. Ooh, seven. Perfect. All right. Now we make the switch into, into Flitzel because I want Primeape to get the experience for, for winning. That's assuming I can actually win this fight. I, I should be able to. It's still level, what, 29? Level 30. All right, your crab here is not going to do that much to me. Oh, just kidding. I was a crit. L level 30. I will fight you. That's not going to be resisted. You know, get some chunk, chunk of damage. All right, so you got Slam, you got Crab Hammer. 
we are we're going we're going to kill a watch roll we have to whether kill watch roll survives this fight i don't know we have to at least hopefully get a hit off could terrestrialize but i wasn't confident i was gonna go first and i don't know why i felt that way crab hammer is probably going to one shot Oh my gosh, it didn't. Well, at this point, there we go. All right, all right. Do not underestimate Kilowatch. Oh my gosh. It's so good. I love it. This is going to be a good chunk of experience. I really expected Crab Hammer to one shot. It got really close. Maroon's up to 25. That was the only one to grow a level. Screech? No, you don't need to Screech. Hey, we did it. That was probably the toughest gym battle yet. But I enjoyed it. I do like that you have to consider like what attacking moves it's going to have, even if it's going to resist defensively. Like I had to worry about ice moves, even though, or just crab hammer, a boosted crab hammer. That's also something that we had to worry about. It's just really cool how they how they thought of the strategies like that. Well, Valusa, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively if I do say so myself. And we got some money. We can actually probably explore around the town again and uh, try to go shopping now that we can afford more stuff. Uh, it's less refreshing as the air at the morning market. That's a little help us, a little magic card to you, eh? Flopping around all willy nilly. Got me good, I tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight to the last second of real victory. Now it's time to hand over to Jim Ash you. And let a real good, uh, and let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. Sure thing. Very cool. That That's your pose? Looks like you're falling over. For Jim Mad is your possession, a Pokemon of up to level 40 will be easier to catch. Uh, and will listen to you when you ask them to do things. Very, very nice. We are halfway through our gym badge journey. Let me throw this in too as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you can make good use of it. Chilling water. Okay, I want to see how strong that is. Uh, Alrighty, it's about time I head, headed on back to my restaurant and got to prep for the next wave. You come back to see me again now, you hear? I won't. Unless there's uh, an in-game reason to come back and see you again. All right, back to the gym we are. Is this going to be Nimona? There she is. Oh, Sai, hola. God, you just you finished up here, huh? Nice work. I have a place to get four badges uh, in now, right? Man, that's awesome. Can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. Makes me want to just challenge you to a battle right here, right now. But I'm going to have to wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader. Dang it. What about you? I want to do it under the best possible conditions, which means this time I gotta ask for a rain check. God, this is the worst timing ever. Sorry, Sly. Forgive me, forgive me. She's already a champion. Didn't she already go through and beat all these gym leaders? Is she just like going back to do it again just to flex on them? Like, <laughs> very, very interesting that I guess you can just do it over and over again. I guess she finished her, her like save game and she's in like new game plus now or something. Uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, end it off here. Well, next time I might, you know, explore a little bit more of the city just to uh, see if I want to buy any more of the fashion things. We are probably gonna fly back to the academy, take some classes, and then we will plan out a route from there. So hopefully you are looking forward to that. If so, let me know, and I'll see you on the next time. So till then, peace out.